Hi guys, this is Michael from the MX community. There's been a thread in the forums recently about ad blocking, and I just want to show you something that we can borrow from the Antiques camp that might actually help um, with blocking ads. So instead of having ad blockers at the browser level, you can go a lot deeper than that. And I'm just going to show you what that is. So first of all, let's pop into my filing system. We'll have a look here. File system, user, local, bin. And here is the script itself. So I'm going to right click that and I'm going to open with leafpad so you can sort of see what it's about. So it's just a uh, editable script that anyone can edit for, the mo for their own or they can have a look and see what it does. And we're going to look at the etc file, etc again, hosts. So what it does is it modifies the etc host file. Now this is the stock standard host file with um, just some uh, dynamic entries put in there. I'm going to close that and close that. And just going to minimize this because we'll come back to that. Let's get started with, uh, with actually blocking the ads now. So I'm going to run to an Xface terminal. Now this program, or this script, requires YAD, and uh, YAD needs to paint something onto the screen. So before we get started, we have to make the screen available uh, to the application. So X host plus, and there we go, access control is disabled. And now we're just going to simply run the script. sudo block hyphen tab, off we go. My password. And here it is. You can read that in your own writing, in your own time, or you can pause right now and have a read. I'm going to press OK. And just for kicks, I'm going to select every one of those servers. So there's four um, ad servers or services. We're going to download the, the script's going to download the database from them, um, sort through it, pick out the list of URLs, and add them into the etc hosts file. success all done it's as quick as that so press OK now notice you restart your browser to see the changes when we're done with that we really need to turn off the uh, the access control so we just simply change that to a minus and your system goes back to normal so here's the browser here we're going to kill off this page reopen the browser And we're at my regular home page. So I'm going to show you one of the effects it has. I'm going to do a search for bikes. Now in the search results, we've got a bunch of ads down here. But we've also got three, uh, three search results that go through Google Ad Services. I'm going to click on one of these. I'm going to center click with the mouse so it opens in a new tab. And if you're watching carefully, it said Google Ad Services up here. And we get a not available page. Without the script, the page comes up. With the script, the page does not come up. And let's see just how it does that. Pop into here, back to here, back to etc. And hosts, there it is. So my host file, which had nine lines in it before, now has a little bit more than nine. So let's scroll down. So starting at, let's say, line 13. So we need to subtract 13 from the total. And we go to the bottom, and we have... 24,607. So if we add this line here, that's, we'll subtract 14 from that. Quite a substantial amount of ads blocked at the entire system level, not just at the browser level. So the browser is no longer doing a whole heap of extra work, waiting for plugins, waiting for third party services. They're just blocked. And that's how I like to use my computer. So we'll close this off. And uh, just so you can see that it's not necessarily a nuisance, if I want to see the real site, I can just highlight that. I'm not doing con control C or anything, I'm just highlighting it. Open a new tab, center click it in, press enter, and off. Oh. Okay, that one didn't work well. We'll try another one. Bikeexchange.co.nz. And there we go. That's the page that we're looking for. However, if I try to click the search result main URL, we get nothing. There we go. 
That's how effective this ad blocking is. Okay, um, we'll have a look at the uh, have a look at my notes, and I'll tell you how you can get the uh, script if you want it. Thanks for watching.